As we talk about the command panel, this is one of those things, again, that you want to really spend some time digging around in here so that as we talk about things, you're going to have an easier time of remembering where that is. So the command panel is pretty big and, like I said, demands that you spend some time with it so that you can remember where different aspects of the command panel are located. As we look here to begin with, we're in the Create tab and Geometry is active. We have standard primitives, and we can see down here all the different types of primitives that we can make in 3ds Max. The standard primitives. We have extended primitives, lots of different objects here as well. As we look through here, lots and lots of different kind of things that we can make within 3ds Max. So again, going to take some time to explore all of that. But then next within the Create panel, we have shapes different types of line objects, similar to Illustrator artwork, where things are built with Bezier curves and vertices. Then we have different NURBS curves, extended splines. Here we have lights, cameras, helper objects, so we can measure things. We can use dummy objects and point helpers to control different aspects of objects, movements, rotations, all kinds of stuff. Then space warps, ways that we can affect geometry by using wind and gravity push objects, cool stuff, deflectors where particle systems can bounce off of different objects. So then within systems, we have bones, daylight system, the biped system, all cool objects. Modify panel. We don't see a whole lot within the modify panel now because we don't have any geometry in our scene to look at. So we'll be taking a look at modifiers in a little while. Next, we have the hierarchy panel where we can change an object's pivot point we can center it to the object. Again, if it's selected, we can reset its pivot point, use different working pivots. Within the IK panel, we can change how objects are linked together. Within link info, we can tell it what to lock or inherit from other objects. The motion panel, again, allows us to affect objects. Since we don't have any, we're not gonna see a whole lot right now. But we can assign different controllers to control an object's movement or rotation. Our display panel allows us to hide and unhide objects by the category of the object. So I can just get rid of all the geometry in the scene with one click. Or the lights and cameras. Below here within the hide and freeze panels, we have the ability once we have some geometry again to hide objects. So we just basically move them or remove them from our view so that we don't clutter up the viewport all the time. Within the freeze panel, I can basically lock objects within the viewport so that they're still there, but I can't select them or accidentally manipulate them. Then within our utilities panel, we have different types of utilities for Max. Perspective match is pretty cool. There's a camera match or a camera tracker utility. So if we have moving cameras, we can create control points where Max will follow the video and track the camera so that your 3D objects can be locked to video. Different other things in here where we can do level of detail meshes for game engines, different types of skin utilities that we can use for skinning characters. Lots of pretty cool stuff. The command panel is a pretty large area within 3ds Max and has a lot of the functionality that we need. I suggest that you do just take some time and look around within that command panel and start remembering where pieces of it are.